Welcome to the Vista 3 by Chroma Q video training series. In this video, we will learn how to store stage looks into cues using the store all function. The store all function is one of the simplest of three main ways to store cues within Vista. It records the active stage values exactly as you are seeing them. It records all values coming from the programmer plus any playing cues and group faders. Let's select the blue park hands and put them at 100%. We will use this look to create our first queue. The Store All button is found towards the middle of the Function Key toolbar, or F6 on a console or keyboard. In this Store All window, the first two boxes at the top tell you where you are about to store to. The left box signifies the queue list number, and the right is the queue number within that list. These two boxes tell you the destination information only. You can name the queue list or queue in the bottom two boxes. Let's call the queue list Park Hands, and we will call the queue Blue. Pressing OK will store the queue into the console, but it does not automatically assign it to a console playback. For it to be automatically assigned, a console location must be designated. To do this, single press on an empty virtual playback button or physical console key. Now, when the queue is stored, it is automatically assigned to the chosen location. Store All sets a number of properties automatically in an attempt to help the user. The first thing that it does is clear the values out of the programmer. The stage state does not change as it also plays the queue. When a queue list is assigned to a fader, it may need to be pushed up to 100% to be able to take control over that list. When the fader hits 0%, the queue list automatically releases. When the fader hits 1%, the queue list will automatically play. This feature is a queue list property that Store All automatically sets called Auto Play and Release. Other queue list properties that Store All sets are HTP On and Fader Intensity Time Manual. More information on these settings can be found within the queue list properties training video. Let's create a second queue and select the red park hands and put them at 100%. We will press the Store All button and call the second queue red. The default action is to store a new queue at the end of the default queue list. This is queue 2 red within queue list 1 park hands. If you select another empty playback, Vista will automatically change to reflect this. Useful tip! The OK store action can also be performed by quickly double pressing a playback. We have now stored queue 2 red within list 1. The programmer is once again cleared and Vista plays into queue 2 red. Let's pull the fader down to release the queue list and push it back up again to play Q1 blue. To transition to the next queue, press the play button. The stage look will then automatically transition to the next queue using the programmed queue time. Let's create queue number three. We will this time put the amber park hands at 100%, press store all and name it amber. A queue's program time can be set by typing a number in this box or by selecting a time from the drop down list. The factory default queue time is 2 seconds. The individual intensity up and down times are also displayed to the right of this box. Fixtures that are fading up in this queue will follow the up time, and fixtures that are fading down in this queue will follow the down time. The values of both the up and down time can be adjusted visually. Click and drag one of the bars to set a delay time. For example, let's drag the down time to the right to set a delay of 2 seconds. The time value can be adjusted by clicking and dragging on one of the blue squares. Let's increase the down time to 3 seconds. Click OK to store the third queue. Let's play through the queue list. Q1 is blue, transitioning in 2 seconds. Q2 is red, transitioning in 2 seconds and Q3 now fades the amber park hands up in 2 seconds before fading down the red park hands in 3 seconds. Let's create a fourth queue. We will select the white profiles and put them at 100%. The default store all action is to store a queue to the end of the default queue list. In this example, it would be Q4 white. You can, however, choose a different location by pressing the browse button. This window is split up into two columns. The left-hand column shows you all of your queue lists, and the right-hand column shows you all of the queues within the selected queue list. Entire queues can be completely overwritten by selecting an existing queue number, or you can choose to insert a new queue before the selected by clicking the green plus on the left. 
Let's create Q1.5 and click OK to store. When you insert a new queue before an existing queue, store all actually uses a queue only mode of storing. This means when we transition from Q1.5 to Q2, the white lights are automatically removed since they were not originally in Q2 red. Let's bring the red queue to 50%. On top of this, we will add some moving spots in yellow using a band position preset. The only fixtures that have events in the programmer right now are the yellow spots. The red dimmers are coming from the active queue list. Let's store this complete stage look to a second queue list. We will use the store all function again, but this time we will press an empty playback so that Vista creates a second queue list. Upon playing back only the second queue list, you can see that store all records all active events from any source. Store all does not store events for channels that are at their default values. In this scenario, the Gobo wheel open slot information is not stored into this queue. To record default values, you can home features or fixtures before creating your stage look. Let's play both queue lists. The release button found at the right of the function key toolbar is a release all command. Pressing this button will release or deactivate any active queue list. Here we can see that both queue lists are released. If you would like to release a single queue list, you can move the fader to 0%. Or you can press the single release action, which by default appears when holding the green console modifier or left alt key on a keyboard. Whilst holding, you can then single press the release action, which has now appeared on the playback select or flash button. Useful tip. Remember that events in Vista's programmer, the live tab, have the highest priority. Any changes that you make on top of queues here are going to be output to stage. For example, you could accidentally hold all of these fixtures at 0% in the programmer. You could then be playing back your previously recorded queues and wondering why they are not playing back correctly. They are, it's just that there is something taking priority within the programmer. The easiest way to tell that something is in your programmer is that the clear button highlights and you also get a little red clear symbol in the live tab itself. Clicking either of these clears all events in your programmer and your fixtures will return to their queue playback state. This training video assumes that ignore release all and exclude from store have not been toggled on within group or queue list properties. More information on these settings can be found within the queue list properties and groups training videos. To learn more about Vista or to download the free demo software, please visit vistabychromaq.com.